When I was a little girl, I came from a very secular family. There wasn't any religion, and you didn't understand very much. But my, you know, my archetypal memory was that we, we had a house with a pool and all that. If I ever wanted to go and see my aunt, who lived down the road, I'd, I'd be in my bikini, so I put a veil over it and rush across the street. And it seemed to me that Iran was like that. You know, we were all wearing bikinis, a bit like Saudis sometimes <laughs> described as now. You know, <laughs> we wore our bikinis at home, but if it was convenient, we just shoved the chador on and rushed across the street, and it hid all multitude of sins. And, and the point was that we actually were of the generation which didn't have religion in, in the school, in the curriculum. I mean, nobody told me anything mm. about what religion was about. I learned about Islam after the revolution. I thought, I better read this Quran and find out what's all this about. But you know, I grew up in a country which claimed to be Muslim, but there was, and there were ceremonies which you went because it was a nice party or, you know. I mean, I had a, I had a very religious grandmother. And so there were all these morning ceremonies where you had to go and sit and cry because every tear was a step towards heaven. And we used to pinch each other desperately trying to cry. But it wasn't, you know, for many, and, and particularly for the middle classes, it wasn't part of the fabric of their daily lives. You know, you had this secular life, you had this. And the trouble was that I think we were divided by ideologies because essentially we had a governing, a government which was going secular, although the Shah every now and again went to shrines and sort of prayed just to look right. And we had a younger generation which was coming up without religion. And I think you were very worried because we had a lot of women who were growing up without any religion, without any idea of where the women ought to be and what they should do. And I think that that was part of the problem, that at the same time we had a very large part of our population, and I don't mean the rural areas, I mean in the no. urban population, which was growing up without the notions that we were actually trying to spread. And so we were a society divided by our religion, yeah, rather than united by it.